capable of a guys. lot of things. <laughs> All right. Gee whiz. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, Ooh, should be ready to uh, throw to that game anytime soon. Anything you... Okay, well, casters, <laughs> take it away. Uh, thank you from backstage, men and women back there. Throw it to the casters, throw it away. Let's go. Uh, we'll see how the mid lane matchup goes. Dendi versus mid one at the moment. Mid one with the uh, with the slight lead. It's very early days. Uh, do you expect this uh, matchup to go one way or the other? I think this one's fairly even. Yeah. Tinker can go for the kill potential, but so can Lina. I think it's just mostly a farm one. And wow, Ooh. Viper actually gets a solo kill on Kezu. Kezu with. Yeah, looking for mid one here. Snake won't connect with the Primal Spring. He himself, of course, still level one as well. So sacrificing his own gain. And now could be in trouble. They've got Hal. General is there on the high ground, so they could maybe turn and help him. We're going to see him bring him down low with the lasers and the rocket. They've got enough burst to bring down the Monkey King. So finally, to Pycat sitting on 40 for 21, having pretty much flawless CS. But at the same time, MP not that far behind at all on the Lycan. And he's, he's getting a lot done down there. And he's rushing the Midas. Yeah. Mid lane, mid one getting very aggressive. He might actually, he's going to get punished here for sure. He's going to go down. Yeah. Didn't have quite enough burst to bring down. Dendian with the rotation. He is maybe going to pop. You'll see the IO come in, try and help him. With a glimpse there to break the tether. Now mid one again, seeing if you get any final burst out with the Light Strike Array is there. They'll take down mid one. They do lose Suneko in return. So it ends up being a one for one, but at the end of the day, it is Na'Vi taking down. Calls for, for it's just having the extra damage and, and not worrying about having the, the walls out of this stage of the game. And we did it, we did it, we've been talking about it a lot, like we set up yeah. three times on panels. Secret's experimenting. They're trying to test oh, yeah. some stuff out. And this is the perfect yeah. time to be doing that with these type of tournaments. And it's just, yeah. Here we go, Monkey King in some trouble here. Kezu in... gets the spot, they get the power shot. Yeah, yeah he's not go. getting out of this yet. Trapped up by the shackle, taken down, no chance to jump back up to the tree line. Uh, mid lane. Bottom lane, MP. Oh. Let's see if they get away with it this time. They tried before he got the backup of Yapsa in bash. time, but getting bashed up. And again, the second bash. The control's there from Pycat. Running around trying to make space, and they know once they've got their mag blink, they, that's their big team fight right now. Ah, look at this. They've found themselves the Monkey King. Suneko has been spotted out. Holds them back with the ban list, but the Rockets come in and mid one. Picks himself up a little bit more gold. That should, is he? Secret seems dissuaded from pushing this tower. No, they but really MP want to catch though. on. If they get a good glimpse, MP's going to be in a lot of trouble. Straight back into the Static Storm. Did get the ult off before he's brought back, but the Boundless and the Laguna Blade from Dendi will bring him out. So yeah, as you said, just overall nice little outplay there from Na'Vi mm -hmm. on the top lane. Just uh, playing a step ahead of Secret. And, uh, yep, sir, top lane. Yeah, General. He's got his eyes on him. I'm sure. Does he want to RP for this? He's thinking about it. He won't do it. The glimpse is going to be enough. They have the vision. Bring the Absol back. He's already tethered. There's no escape for him. And another kill. Can we, we're seeing, I feel like most likers nowadays go for the, the, the Armlet Mask of Madness. Yeah. That's not happening here. I mean, I imagine after the Echo Saber, he doesn't go back for one of those items, does he? Is it unlikely? Or do you think we could still see that come out eventually? Well, we will see for the time being. Yapsor getting brought down in the siege from Na'Vi in the mid lane. General in position in case Secret come forward. But I think, go, unless they hang around too close, he's thinking about going in for mid one. He's going to jump forward straight with the RP. No messing. Tinker is a big kill for them to get, and they'll certainly get it. Tinker out and down. Na'Vi will clear up the tier one as well in the mid lane. So Secret trying to fight before that comes back off. There'll be a TP into the not. shrine. There they go, straight over the ult. Stampede ready to get into position. Pike indeed being caught out. Backup is on its way. Will it be quick enough? He pops out the axe. He's now starting to bash up MP with the balance strike as well. They're controlling the wall. That's going to be MP down. Pycat surviving. Denny comes in with a wraparound light strike. Laguna to blow up. Kezu, two down. They will finally lose Pycat. But Na'Vi finding two, and I don't think they're done yet. Yapsor still in the danger zone. That's going to be a third kill for Na'Vi. Fourth kill, in fact. They also managed to catch out Puppy in the river. They lose two themselves, but again, it's Secret looking for these fights, and they're not coming out on top. And great news for Dendi. He just picked up his Bloodstone. And 12 to 6, Na'Vi maintaining their lead this game. <laughs> Dendi cuts Seneko's tree and knocks him on the ground. <laughs> but I... I... Taneko's doing a really good job of moving around, and with the troll ulti as well, these two heroes have such higher kill potential when with Lina just much faster auto attacks and the troll too. Oh, Puppy is getting a little hungry here, finds Biver, wants to try and go for a play. Rocket's bringing him down low, but straight up Biver says, get off me, son. He will be taken out by Rocket, the static storm, bringing Puppy down low, does manage to get away for the time being with the stampede, lining up for the short wave, but jukes it out. Pycat thinking about chasing. But won't quite go for it. Mass TP's coming through. There's the Blink Who Stomp catching out Magda straight away. General in trouble. The Rockets bring him down low. Turns around with the Shockwave. But they're again mid one. Picking up the kills. Grabs himself a double as he quickly picks up General after finding, of course, Biver early in the river. 
when they have so much single target, Na'Vi? I think it's for like so many different factors. Not yeah. only the glimpse, the static stun, but removing the whirling axes as well, so he doesn't have that evasion, evasion on him. Just so many different things that the BKB is going to benefit the Lycan in this one, so he can actually participate in fights oh, and get towers top lane. Hot play. Straight up static from the boys. And we'll find the trade up top, though. Secret, bring down Suneko. Na'Vi still thinking about playing around with this one. Dendi. Working through the, the BKB one, and of course, as it would be, as soon as I say they're calming down, Na'Vi wished to push me and, uh, and and prove me otherwise. Straight away, with the smoke, they'll head towards the pit, but again, MP with these walls down. If they do reveal themselves, he'll know, and straight up, Na'Vi, they go in. Secret, they've got all the info. Do they want to contest this? They're already making a beeline across, but look at General, still in position on they the side. They've already found the first catch here. They'll jump forward, take Puppy out. So Secret, they're down a member with four against five. Can they really do anything about this Roshan attempt? And it doesn't look like they can. PyCat commits. Up to the high ground they go. MP already with the wolf form. Trying to get himself out. Mid one will be able to burst down by from the Disruptor. Jump forward from Kezu. They've got the lockdown onto Denny. MP comes in with the Echo Sable. One, two, crit. Manages to remove the Lina from the fight. But Roshan already gone and down. Na'Vi did take it, but it did cost them a couple of lives. Not only the BKB, of course, finished on PyCat. We're seeing Dendi this game on the Lina going for the BKB straight up. Sometimes you know an item that you don't necessarily want to get uh, immediately and uh, he's certainly going to need it again. They lose general. And we're starting to see just this really tight saves. We, we kind of mentioned it from the draft. Having the IO, having the Centaur. There's a lot of ways for Secret to instantly disengage yeah. out of a bad fight. Yeah, and you absolutely going for the mech build and with an urn too, so he has a lot of a lot of sustain for his teammates. And look at this, they're ready to go again. The shackle won't connect. There'll be a protective field essentially trying to block people out, but Baika getting ripped to pieces here. MP coming in, charging straight away with the BKB drop. Rips down the Disruptor, Pycat will get the blink off to the high ground, but Suneko's in trouble. MP turns towards his next target, brings down the monkey. And Secret feels like they're just not being respected as much as they need to be by Na'Vi in these fights, as this wolf and BKB now picked up for Dendi. Will certainly help him getting blown up at the start, but it's not going to really do much about MP nipping at his heels. He has five armor on Alina. Yep. So he, he's gone in a couple of hits. He is going to get crushed if the Lycan's actually able to close the gap onto him. See, again, top general, seeing if he can set up. And I mean, it really feels as well, as much as we talked up General's Magnus play at the start where he got great farm, he just. He's really struggled to find an opportunity to, to get that RP there, or even for using the RP for solo pickoffs. There's just been very little uh, chance for him to make the plays happen. I think that's now. just because oh. of the way that... Oh, nice RP, as, as you say. As much as I say it, there we go. Goes in, gets the two-man RP, drags them back into the Static Storm. Puppy is trapped, Puppy is out and down. Laguna Blade to bring down Yabsor as well. And P trying to get himself away. The Glimpse will be there on Kezu to bring him back. And Na'Vi, take three, General listening to the car says, shut up Odie Pixel, this is how we do it, this is how we kick things off, and I think they may just get mid one as well, indeed there's no escape for him, four kills, picked up for Na'Vi, and uh, it's just my luck isn't it Fogged really? Let's see what they can get, General, up on the front with the Shadow Blade, again he's scouting he's them out with the wolves, yeah. That's what General, but they certainly see Dendi and Biver, now that they'll be much close behind, there's your Hex. Complete on mid one. This is a big wraparound right here. A secret could certainly catch Navi off guard if Navi make the uh, the nonchalant movement back to their half of the map. Biber could Biber. be the focus. It's a good little safe way to start the fight. He's looking to duke it down in the tree line. Look at the static storm man. In fact, keeping himself out of vision. The wolves are on their way down to try and chase them. Up on the high ground, Snake could drops the Wukong command, gets the balance strike out onto MP. And the absorb being focused down on the sidelines by Dendi. There's the jump for General. Has the RP. It's only actually one, but it is on MP, holding him back through the BKB. Dendi picks up Puppy on the sidelines. So two kills for Navi so far. And they get that man out of there. MP tries to run. The Thunder Strikes on, and Pycat's got the favorable movement speed. MP, of course, already used the BKB. General looking to close the gap with the Shadow Blade, slaps him in the back. Dendi picks up the triple kill. And a beautiful fight for Navi. Very nicely done at the start there from Biva. Just getting this getting his spells out, making it so Navi uh, don't instantly lose a hero. And suddenly the time and chance is there for them to turn around. They hold on to the RP, use it post BKB usage on MP, so suddenly. Kezu. It's close to picking up the, the Shiva's guard for himself up top. As you're going to see mid one jump forward here with the Hex, an incredibly aggressive play, just gets punished immediately. 
the rest of Navi there to back up General. Uh -oh. And he's down for 70 seconds, and that's not the only casualty secret I have in here, as Yapsor will be chased down, tethers across to MP, but they've got the vision to rip the eye away from his furry fellow. And uh, he'll go for the relocate out, but Yapsor, of course, no way, unless he wants to try and time a Let's TP. See if he gets it. Is he going to try? No, he doesn't try it. He's, he's, handing it, he's holding his hands up. He says, I'm done it. And Na'Vi quickly get a third. Cool. It's a pretty safe way to do it. Not the shortest of cooldowns down the relocate, so can't do it for every wave, but pretty much every other wave you've got the timing to get yourself in, in and out for. And uh, Roshan up oh, in a matter of seconds now. And P's got staring at a DD rune right now. This could be Secret trying to go for an engagement here if they're able to get good vision before they take Ooh, the fight. Oh, they're thinking about it here. Mid one has eyes on Dendi, looking to find the shackle shot. Won't connect. Power shot as they search for Suneko. Won't quite find the trees, and the vision will be there to glimpse Bat Puppy. Immediately out of the fight and down. Mid one goes for the TP out. BKB from General is going to look to try and trap the Tinker. Oh There's my the damage God. from Dendi. Pew, 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 pew. That's going to be a double kill for Pycat. As Dendi just absolutely rips into them there with the balls of fire. And they're not done yet. Yep, so can he get his way out? Oh, the light strike not quite in time. That is what they do. That was a funny little interaction. He was Lotus Starved on Lina, so Kezu blinks in and double edges him. And he double edges him back. So you do like the double kind of damage in a way. It was kind of funny just seeing that. Here we go again. Kezu tries for the blink. Who's stomp? There's the boundless strike straight away. The Skewer actually going to miss that. Skims the side. Of Kezu, looked like it should have grabbed him. Pycat will jump in, look to finish off the kill. The stampede comes through. Kezu tethered up, but he still goes down. Too much damage. Jump four for General. There's the RP straight away onto one target. It's a big tanky target as well. MP just slaps the troll in the face. That's going to be Pycat down for 100 seconds. Kezu with the buyback, but misses the blink. Who's stomp? Dendi holds back the center with the light strike array. Secret, they need to find more out of this, and they are going to chase. MP with the shape shift. Looking towards Dendi. Blink forward from mid one. Finds the hex. That's going to be Dendi out and down as well. Will kill himself. Suneko. Keeping himself quiet on the tree line. MP seeing if he can search down for more. They do have the vision there. They ping him out. I know the Seneca's in the neighborhood. As you said, if Navi do want to go for this or, or hold on for Roche. I mean, after that last attempt, we're certainly understanding why Navi are and have been playing it as safe as they have. They've got high ground vision here for Secret. So it looks like they want to take a fight outside the base since they know the glyph, Secret knows their glyph is down. Because so he they... needs to get the jump. Really wants. Kezu has to be careful. He has no buyback. There's he does the, get the jump. jump. Goes straight in, but immediately on the high ground. Snake goes there with the Wukong's crown and the balance track on the battle. General! Oh, he gets the three man RP. It's beautiful. It's the two man skewer bringing them back. The damage from Pycat rips into the wall for Snavi. They picked up two, three as Puppy goes down as well. Beautiful fight there. Suneko gets on the high ground, gives them the vision, drops down the ult. General immediately leaps onto the back line as grabs three with the RP and Secret. Just getting ripped to pieces. The Navi will gain. And there we have it. You could tell Secret was feeling like a little bit desperate there. Their glyph is down. We have to take a fight outside the base there. We can't let them try to do that, but unable to get the burst onto the Troll Warlord and great RP coming up from it, General. Yeah, getting, getting the Chain X onto him. There's the Lotus Orb Reflect. And people come in and should find the finish. It locks him down with the Abyssal Blade, but no, General, he's forced away by the team and with the Glimmer Cave, he's out of there. General survives. MP thinking a question to me about how much he sticks around, but he's dragged back by the glimpse. The damage from Dendi as Dendi hits the godlike streak. And that's almost certainly going to be GG as Lycan MP down for nearly two minutes. Unless mid one can do some sort of miraculous hold. He's trying his best. Puppy looking for the shackle. Won't get it. And Navi, they're ready to come back in. General in with the blink skewer. Drags Puppy back into the clutches of Navi. They will hold, or at least try their best as mid one spams out the march. No one is to let go of this game. Every game, of course, worth a thousand dollars here at Dream League. Secret trying their best, but with two members down for 80 or so seconds, they're going to smoke up. Looking for some sort of play. Midborn comes in with a quick hex, and in fact, make it the kill. And he does. Pike gets out for 100. They're holding. Secret. They are not giving up. They're doing their best to hold him. Relocate will be there. Looking for the backliners. General has the BKB up. Will be out. But again, Midborn with the chain hex brings down Suneko. General. Should be fine with a quick blink out, but Na'Vi will be forced back. They did get the Megas. I'd give that, how much of a percent chance would you give Secret? Probably I, like I, sub 3%. Sub 3%? <laughs> I was thinking at least 5%. All right, I will give them 5%. I was, but... I was thinking I'll give them a 5% with the way that mid one's stepping it up. I mean, that's got to be a bit of a worry for Na'Vi. I mean, you kill, you've got Mega Creeps. You knock their Lycan out for two minutes.
but you can't finish the game. And now mid one, oh, he might get caught out here though. But no, the Reload is going to be there. They're trying to bring down Denny mid one. Can he get himself out of the Glimmer Capes out? They'll manage to catch the DP off General, but he shoots forward. Mid one quick with the blink out, turns around with the Hex again and the laser. The first down now. Oh, mid one, no, gets caught out by the RP. General will finish off the Tinker. Can MP and Kezu do anything about this Magnus though? There's going to be the buyback from mid one. Coming back to the fight on the high grass. Snake there with the wood close command. Drops the ban. Let's strike down onto free the Hex though. Brings down the Magnus. General's out of down. Mid one with the Dagon. Rearm. Dagon takes down another. Did cost the buyback. But Na'Vi are being sent back to the fountain one by one. They Can't just need they mid one it. once more. That's that's what Navi needs right now. They gotta just keep eyes on mid one, try to find oh, him that one more time. Oh, leading with Puppy. They've got the smoke, trying to close the gap. Mid one's in as well. He needs to find the jump there. There's gonna be the linkers. It's Pop. Stampede from Secret to get a position. Much... Kezu in with their dog. They've got the hex onto the troll. Pike can't get it bursted down. Mid one, he's done it. He's brought down Pike can again. Down for 100 general. Searching for mid one, but he blinks up the high ground. Gets himself out. Blinks back down. Bam! Dendy's burn up as well. Secret. Somehow holding in on this game as we hit the oh 60 minute God. mark. I can't quite believe what we're seeing from mid one. It has to get back to base though to deal with the Megas. The tier fours are still up, and this Tinker is j just making Navi question He's what trying. the hell's going on. He's trying his damn hardest. The creeps are. There's just gems sitting outside the base right now, just like two or three of them. Biver doesn't even want to grab them. He's General. like, oh, my sentry's more important. Looking for the jump in here. They're rather grouped up. Secret mid one comes forward with the laser, but the BKB's popped by Pycat and Ivy are messing. They go for the strikes. It's Denny. Now to the dad, but there's the jump forward from mid one. He's found himself. Lead up, but no. The protection here. Balance strike comes out. Mid one relocated out by Yapsil just in time. There's the jump for Kezu. They're coming in hard on Snake up. The BKB's out for General. Double edge. Bring Snake low. There's the burst from mid one. They're taking down the Monkey King. They've got the bash as well onto General. Again, Secret take two. They do lose the tier 4 though, but immediately with two heroes down, MP barreling down the mid lane. He's found Biver as well. No escape for the disruptor killing spree for MP. Na'Vi, no buyback on Seneco's Monkey King. They do have... Pycat right to Glyph. He's oh. like, alright, they used Glyph in that fight. I'm gonna let them know that too. He takes the spirit damage, damage, but he gets the respawn yeah. time as well. Okay. So. Great. He takes the damage though, because he wants to be able to build. A, he want, he's the one pretty much trying to defend the base. Oh, and he's building a Maelstrom as well. I love it. Look at, the, look at this IO build. <laughs> this certainly could be a guess the hero build. Well, the blade mail, Vlad's Greaves, Maelstrom. Oh, they're Navi. They're going straight for the, the jugular. Clip is down. They want this over now. The BKPs are out. They're onto the agent. Can't secret stop them. They Aww. can't. It's all over. <laughs> Navi will finally take the victory. But you have got to give kudos to Secret and, of course, specifically mid one for just making that game go the 63 minutes. What a showing. This is the first time Owen sat down for the whole game, by the way.